Hi, hello and welcome back to Fitness Hacks brought to you by Life Fitness. Uh, today I'm, be, I'm going to be talking about an exercise which began in Bulgaria uh, because the name of the exercise suggests that I'm just saying it must have been found out by someone in Bulgaria or it must have been a Bulgarian version of the squat. Yes, I'm talking about the Bulgarian split squat. Uh, the Bulgarian split squat is uh, a different version of the squatting that we've spoken about before, uh, but it is it is a unilateral exercise. It, it works it works individually on uh, legs separately and I'm, I'm and I'm a big fan of this particular exercise because it's given me some wonderful results and as always with any exercise uh, it's going to be about uh, what how and why so with respect to uh, what are the exercises we'll get there I will demonstrate them so as I get going here doing this exercise this is one version of it people at home you can obviously uh, there is a there is a there is a small chair or a stool that you can have which is slightly elevated from the floor and then I've got a couple of dumbbells to do a different variation. Um, so this particular exercise, it's like getting one leg forward and the other leg is on it. Uh, whereas in a normal uh, squat or a lunge position, you will be seated on the floor, which I've already explained before. So you're basically on the floor and then you just lunge down. So with this particular exercise, the load is being shared by both the, both the legs. Uh, like for example, if you're going down, you can use the glute portion of the front leg, the quad portion and the hip flexor portion of the back leg, and then you can still come up. But whereas with this leg, the extended focus is basically on the glutes, uh, which is what I love about the, about this exercise. Uh, glute is not one of the strongest portions that I've had. A lot of people have talked uh, talked to me about glute stability, uh, strengthening the glute and all that because of issues I have around my back and my hips. And whenever I feel strong, uh, doing this particular exercise, the Bulgarian split squat, it takes the load off my back. So if people do have issues with the back, if they have a weak back, weak hip, this is a wonderful exercise to do. You don't even need a massive amount of weight for this. I can load it up, but I'm just showing it in a very uh, easier manner. So the favorite one, if I want to activate, if I want to just get into the exercise, I just want to get a feel of it. I will go into a, a Bulgarian split squat hold, which is basically one leg up, the knee doesn't touch the floor. A lot of people might as always make the mistake of touching the floor. Cannot do that. If you touch, you'll lose balance. The work will not go through the front leg. The load will be taken by the back leg. It will be a bit of a stretch then. So just keep your knee slightly above the floor. Just stay there for about 25 to 30 seconds. See if you can do that. It's a wonderful, it's a wonderful exercise to activate your uh, glutes. You can see how strong it is and also then change the leg and get into the position again. So this is basically a Bulgarian split squat hold. Uh, some people might even do a split squat hold with both legs on the floor and just stay there. But I like this because it uh, isolates the back leg and then puts a lot of load on a single leg and the glute muscle works um, in a very extensive manner and gives the perfect results. So uh, since I've gone through why we do it and a small variation of how we do the Bulgarian split squat, now it's important to get into the light techniques of uh, doing the Bulgarian split squat. Uh, as I told you, one leg is forward, the other leg's on, on the stool. You go down, make sure you're not leaning forward. The back is like really straight. The, uh, the back leg knee is not touching the floor. It's slightly above. And then you're trying to balance with the front leg. And as always, the front heel forms the fulcrum. You go down, go, come up, go down, come up. These are the repetitions. Uh, the previous one that I showed you was basically about the Bulgarian split squat holds. This is about 25 to 30 seconds. But if you feel like you can do repetitions, it's a wonderful exercise. It also uh, gives you enough, enough strength and power to be able to come up. So you can basically go down, up, go down, up. If you do not have weights and you feel it com it's comfortable, you can come up like that. You can come up with a bit of a, a jump, right? And that's the Bulgarian split squat, uh, the basic technique. And uh, make sure that you're not, you're not coming up on your toes when you're doing the exercise. You should be pushing off the heel, the front heel, the front leg heel. And now we will move on to uh, the different variations you can do. Obviously, because I'm doing these exercises, I'm also panting on the way. So make sure that if you're feeling comfortable doing the holds, or if you can do the reps. And if you ask me how you can do the reps, go one down. If you feel like it's tiring, change the leg and go the other way. If you feel like it's tiring, change and keep going. But if you don't feel uh, the legs are tiring too much, you can, especially when it's without weights, when you don't add any weights to it, just go down for six reps. Or actually, because it's without the weights, go down for 10 reps and then change the leg. 
or if you find it's too hard, you can change like alternate reps. Uh, now we're going to be off to uh, loading this particular exercise, how we're going to use different loads, different positions where you can hold the weights. And as always, as I've told you, if you have any doubts with the technique, if you have doubts with how exactly to go about it, if you have issues doing the exercise, please consult a, a qualified uh, physician or a trainer and then take further help. But this is a wonderful exercise. Trust me on that. You can start any exercise without having the weight. If you get the form right, you will be starting in the right place. Trust me on that. Now the small variations, I've got a dumbbell here. I've just got a 10 kg dumbbell. It's not a lot and that's what I could flick from the gym. So that's what I've got here. Uh, so get into a position, uh, get, into, get into the position on the chair uh, where you can have two dumbbells by the side of your leg. Go down for a brief second, come up. Go down, stay there for a brief second, come up. And then obviously if you finish six reps, anything loaded is between six to eight reps. And if you feel the load is too light, you can go up to 10 reps and repeat it for three sets. Then change the leg, then go down, come up. Keep it by your side and come down, come up. Uh, when you go down, remember the form needs to be right. You cannot collapse your knees, you cannot touch the floor, nor can you lean forward or lean backwards. Your back needs to be extremely straight. So as I got comfortable doing this exercise, there are other forms in which you can do the exercise, uh, especially if the weight of the dumbbell gets increased. Uh, which my which my trainer Rajamani is a very big fan of. He will give me the weight of a 25 or a 30 kilo dumbbell and ask me to hold it like this in a butt. Like I've told you before, uh, shown you a variation of going down on this squat, uh, which is the goblet squat. Hold it in this position, same, split leg, go down and come up if you increase the weight. And that's one variation. In case you do not have heavy dumbbells of the 25 or the 30 kilo variety and you do feel like going heavy, with this particular exercise, make sure that putting putting a barbell is not the earliest thing I would do. I am not personally very comfortable doing it. So I do it this way to work the other facets of it. If you think you're very comfortable, you want to challenge yourself, put it right up here in a, in a position right next to the shoulder. We are doing a shoulder press, put that in that position and then make sure that you're holding it this way. The core is working, the shoulder is working, it's challenging you more. Hold it up there go down come up go down come up go down come up and finally before i go to another variation this is the best variation i like and this is the variation that challenges me the most uh, finally before i go to one last variation that i've learned of late it works the slings i've told you uh, i've told you a lot i've spoken about it in the bunky series about the fascias about the slings in the body which enable you to push force across various muscles. This particular exercise, this particular variation of the Bulgarian split squat will work that. Obviously, again, you need to have a heavier dumbbell, uh, preferably something like a 20 to 25 kilo. Uh, I do a 26 right now. Uh, I'm not able to flick a 26, so I'm showing it with a 10. So obviously, put your left leg forward. When your left leg is forward, the dumbbell is on your right leg. Put it right next to your front leg so that the slings are working, it's activated and then you go down and come up, go down and come up. The repetitions are the same, the exercise is the same, the variations of loading it are different and the purposes of loading it differently could be either challenging yourself, working the slings, working the different parts of the body, also working the wholesome region with the core as well. Any lower body exercise, remember the core is working, but if you challenge it more, it will work in different, uh, different functionalities and hence when you go out of the field or when I go on the field, it gives me some wonderful results because on the field activities need to be replicated when you're also doing work in the gym or you're trying to train for the game. Likewise, our day to day activities will also require us to do certain activities in the same way that we do it in the gym or otherwise when you're training for it. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to know more, please let me know. Thanks.